Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Diablo 3. My name is Wilfred. So in today's video, I'd like to continue to explore the different options of Legendary Exam for uh, my heroes. And it could be useful for you as well because um, you know some of these are based on my experience. The two gems I'm looking at are both have some sort of like a damage reduction elements to it. So one is the esoteric uh, alteration, another one is uh, Gogok of Swiftness. So I'm going to go a little bit of detail later on now at the back of this video is uh, my friend Dupe, my wife cup uh, the three of us has been trying to push for higher and higher rift season of the season so after a couple of seasons attempt we managed to break into the GR 100 uh, kind of like a barrier that we uh, always couldn't quite find the uh, oomph shall I say to uh, to get through it now the first attempt we were a little bit conservative because uh, it's kind of new to us so we did it with about five seconds to spare then after that um, you know I've uh, augmented one of my ancients with a rank 100 uh, legendary dam that gave us an extra kind of uh, DPS of course that uh, you know we are able to push a little bit faster or could be the map as well so we managed to do it uh, in 11 minutes and 11 seconds I believe so uh, that, that I'll, look, I'll go through that run with you in just a bit um, so now back to the topic of this um, this uh, video is that um, you know a lot of time when we look into the legendary dam we look at the DPS and how you know how some of the gems are really useful in terms of like dealing damage uh, overall or dealing damage against the guardian or bosses or elite and so on so the uh, there are gems that in this game you know give you the options to mitigate damage and uh, and i know some of you actually one of my friends uh, have not been playing this game since the very beginning uh, so um, i think back then Diablo is about getting all resist, getting like a vitality, but now it's not the, you know, now it's no longer the case. Uh, a lot of damage mitigation is either through the uh, the gear itself, uh, be it as the uh, you know overall damage reduction if you are not using any resources like the Akira Kures, or there are things like uh, braces that when you stun enemies you get X amount of uh, X percentage of damage reduction, or in the set items or you know in your build whereby you have uh, extra like a damage reduction if you have certain stacks of uh, certain things so the uh, it's kind of interesting because it really depends on your kind of play style uh, what you would like to do and uh, you know ultimately it's a trade-off between DPS and the damage reduction now the two gems I'd like to look into just a little bit detail here is that esoteric uh, alteration works pretty well for me below greater reef 100 um, what it does is that uh, it mitigates non-physical damage. So if you manage to rank up your dam to 100, which is the max of it by the way, there's a cap, um, you get about 60% non-physical damage reduction. And also if your character is 50% uh, uh, health, meaning that uh, you lost 50% of health or more, uh, then you get additional 75% uh, resistance to non-physical damage again. Uh, so all in all, it's a pretty, pretty strong dam for say witch doctor uh, when when you have to be in pretty close proximity to your uh, enemy because you need to spread the locust swarm. Uh, you need to do so harvest, which is kind of like at near melee range. And uh, you know if the if the mob die within twenty yard, you get like a, a cooldown reduction. Blah blah blah. So uh, it you know to play witch doctor well, you have to be pretty close to action. And uh, for those who are kind of uh, still trying to get used to all these elite kind of affixes, uh, there are many, many uh, non-physical damage against you. For example, it could be like the electricity thing that you've seen just now, can be the thunderstorm, it could be like, uh, you know, fire on the ground, motor, it could be even like a poison on the ground or poison and, and, and enchanted. So there are many, many, uh, you know, things that will kill a character if you're not careful. And I think, you know, um, having esoteric alteration to mitigate a lot of this non-physical kind of damage helps a lot uh, in terms of the surviving um, you know, so my, my character is by and large deathless all the way to uh, Glitter Reef 95 and even 97. Um, so it is, it is a good gem, I would say. It's a very, very good option for you to uh, start the character with the gem. But the only thing about the gem is that, uh, you know, you can't rank it up 
beyond rank 100. Uh, other them has a uh, 150 kind of cap to it. Uh, is it really? Does it really matter? Uh, yes and no. I mean, you know, I uh, depends on whether you're doing critical with 100 and above. Um, now, back to the Gogok of Swiftness, which is the one that I've already changed. That um, it works a little bit differently. The damage mitigation is uh, is rather interesting. It interacts with your build as well. So you can see a little bean icon at the hot bar, kind of like buff the third one, 15 stat. So every successful attack will build one stack. You can build up to 15 stack, but it will fall off if you don't attack something within a certain time frame. So every stack gives you uh, attack speed, every stat also gives you dodge as well. So say if your legendary gem uh, of the Gogok of Swiftness is uh, rank 100, right? Say, then you get 15% um, of attack speed, uh, which is pretty decent uh, as, a, as, a, as a witch doctor when you are standing still to deal a lot of horns kind of damage. Uh, there is overall 22.5% of uh, dodge as well. And, uh, and last but not the least, uh, there's 15% uh, cooldown reduction um, all in all with the gem. So now, let me just break it down for you guys here, right? So the attack speed helps uh, in terms of the horn when you stand still especially. You can spam, like you can see here a little bit, uh, maybe I move a little bit, but uh, if I don't move, you can see that I keep spamming horn. And the attack speed will help, of course, uh, to, to get that uh, happen. Uh, and also for my build, uh, the more I spend the uh, spam the horns, the uh, the better cooldown reduction uh, on the soul harvest, which is my big power kind of thing. So that is kind of nice. And also, you know, other other things pop as well, like the uh, spirit walk that can avoid damage during the time that I'm walking, uh, as well as the horrify, which is to try to stun target and so on. So there's a lot of utility coming off from the attack speed. The uh, dodge wise is uh is a uh, it's interesting. I'm trying to see how effective it is, but sometimes I do see the dodge, like uh, I can say dodged, like with the exclamation mark. So I think it works in almost all scenario except the things on the ground whereby you can't dodge when you're already standing on it. And also some of this mortar cannot be dodged. I don't know. I mean, it seems that I'm dodging as well though. I think I think I'm dodging some of the thing as well. So um, so it's kind of interesting to see a dodge come up quite often. Uh, so and the. Uh, uh, it, it, it is clear it is said that the uh, dodge may have uh, diminishing kind of like return as well I'm not quite sure but uh, I think all in all is is good uh, against uh, all damage source so that is uh, one and then like I said before 15% cooldown reduction is always nice because I have uh, my build is so many cooldowns everywhere um, and the yeah I mean that that is that's the reason why I think I got of sweet sweetness is something that uh, swiftness is something you I would stick stick with, uh, you know, since I'm running pretty high rift these days. Uh, and also worth uh, to to mention is that uh, if you couple that with the uh, bane of the stricken, which is very good against the guardian, then the extra attack speed, of course, will then start to build up your bane of the stricken uh, stack as well, which you know you can deal more and more damage as the battle drags on on a single target so all in all it kind of uh, you know supplement pretty well i think to recap that between the two of them you know the esoteric alteration is to deal with the non-physical uh, kind of mitigation while the uh, gogok of swiftness will give you overall damage reduction probably not as strong as the uh, esoteric alteration from a uh, non-physical resistant point of view but i uh, give you an overall better kind of like uh you know uh, um reduction and then also because it does give you better attack speed uh, better cooldown reduction to give you a big kind of like a power you know like the soul harvest that you could uh, pop as well as other things like the spirit walk as well as the uh, horrify so all in all i think the uh and if you're running greater reef 100 and above um you probably have a better result with the gogo of swiftness but whether or not you want to stay with the as the uh the uh, esoteric alteration, if you're running anything below 100 for a Witch Doctor this season, uh, it's really up to you because I, I must say, with that, um, things are a lot more, um, you know, tankier. I don't need to worry too much about uh, the poison on the ground or the fire on the ground and so on. I mean, I can, I can like, um, miss some of this, uh, you know, visual like for example desecration is very hard to see sometimes because it's one small patch on the ground that is fire but if you stand there for more than a second or so your character will just die suddenly 
So things like that, um, you know, the esoteric alteration is good. But uh, all in all, I think the Go God of Swiftness for end game would be a much better choice. That would be my thought to share. All right. So that are the two gems. Um, I I think I'm pretty much done with experimenting experimenting gem, gems this uh this season. So I've uh, I've uh, you know I've done the powerful versus stricken. I've done the pain enhancer as well, which some of you have requested for me to see. And uh, I don't think there are any other options I could uh, look into. The three gems that I probably would stick with is the uh, Bane of the Trap, as, as in like every other character we use it. Uh, then I'll have the Gogok of Swiftness. Then the third gem is depending on situation. If I'm running something fast and I can kill off everything, I can use Bane of the Powerful. But if I um, if uh, at high rift, like um, you know, sometimes the Bane of the Powerful doesn't pop. Um, especially when there is an yellow elite with other minions, right? Because uh, the minions is 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 a pain to to take down, um, and not everybody within a group is you know want to spend time just killing minions so that you can have a bit of a powerful buff. So I I realized that while the buff sometimes is there, but uh, more often than not, it's not there at a at a much higher rate, like one hundred and so on. So I made you know you know for anything more than 100 I'll, I'll pop the uh, Bane of the Stricken uh, because I find that the Guardian fight seems to be quite rather long but uh, the rest of it I'll probably stick with the uh, Bane of the Powerful we'll see I mean I'm still I'm still leveling them for options here uh, in terms of the gem augmentation for my gear so far I've managed to have uh, six ancient uh, that is being augmented with the legendary gem of ranks between 80 ish to 100 uh, so that is where i am right now uh, my plan to do what i plan to do well i would like to continue pushing a little bit because i, I suspect for every you know gem that i put in i can push a little bit further with my with my character in terms of the uh, also from a group environment um, there are other things to test as well gear wise uh, this season i'm kind of lucky I'm getting quite a fair bit of uh, primary ancients and I'll do a separate video towards the end of the season to just share with you what kind of primary ancient I've got but uh, I may try something else uh, if that work out but I don't want to commit anything on the video right now here uh, suffice to say now the uh, maybe just one last point to address while watching this clip here is that the uh, the first clip uh, took us close to like uh, the time allowance to take down the guardians at with 100 the uh, we are doing a lot better here but i suspect also because of the pyron or because of the uh, the map itself uh, that 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 kind of like enable us to have the kind of um, options here but uh, i'm also experimenting to to stay still more more often than moving around because when uh, i'm using an endless uh, walk Kind of like amulet ring combo whereby there's a compass rose as well as traveler's pledge uh, when i move i uh, have better damage reduction when i stand still i have better damage output the difference is rather substantial so i'm trying to see how much i can uh, do with the with this so-called trade-off and i'm still learning it because i feel that if I don't move that much, uh, of, of course, the damage output would be much, much better. But then I also become more vulnerable. There has a little bit of survivability issue as well. So I still maintain that I would like to stay as deafness as possible. But sometimes I do need to take some risk, especially when uh, it is at this level. All right. So now um, I hope you enjoy this whole series of the uh, video. I hope you enjoy the season 16 as well. By far the most fun uh, season for me. Not because uh, of the grand duel kind of buff, it's because the way that the uh, gears has been, the set gear has been re looked into across all the characters and built, making you know at least classes to be more comparable to each other, making a lot of sets uh, for some classes like you know um, maybe Crusader or or, or 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 even the Barbarian a lot more like you know options to go for high tier. I think for Witch Doctor wise though, so uh, the J Harvester is probably the the only one that is really top tier right now. Uh, I suspect there will be more kind of like um, 
uh, tuning in a way because I'm really hoping that other other sets in the uh, Witch Doctor is will be as as exciting as the uh, So Harvester and the uh, J Harvester. Sorry. So um, yeah, that's that's all. My wife and I haven't really figured out what we're gonna do next season, and this season is still not ended yet. So um, obviously, we'll try to push as many gear to the uh, augmented with the legendary gem as possible um, but you know I mean it's, it's really fun once you can get to the hang of it and my wife has three primal engine that's useful to her build and suddenly everybody's getting a little bit motivated um, so I'm also very motivated right now but the next season I don't know um, probably thinking in the line of either a monk and or I mean or a necromancer. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, thanks for tuning in and good luck with your season sixteen. I hope you're uh, having a lot of fun on, on this season like we do. All right, see you next time. Bye.